VBOX getting started. For starting VBOX device, we need to get a same ID, set network, test it, and add a VBOX to our account. For getting the same ID, we need to connect VBOX to PC. There are two ways for it, via USB cable, and LAN connect. All VBOX devices work on the network, so there are three network configuration modes for different models. This is network configuration interface. We could set some necessary parameters on it, and then download the configuration to VBOX. Ethernet is the default port of VBOX. We could select a dynamic or static according to real situation. But for static mode, please make sure the parameters are correct. Wi-Fi is the default function of the S series VBOX. For users, we only enter Wi-Fi name and password, and select dynamic or static mode according to real situation. 4G is for S 4G model, and it requires 4G SIM card. Usually default APN could work. If 4G connection has problem, please contact SIM card service provider for VPN and fill it in the software. After network settings, we need to set access password for editing device on account and select the network connection method to server. Open software. Click download button in the upper left corner. If device connected, this information is displayed. Click Config Network to open setting window, set network mode, set access password, and select the connection method for server. Click Download Configuration to download settings to device. VBOX will restart automatically after download. When the VBOX is running, we could click the detection network to check whether the device is connected to the server. When the VBOX is connected to the server, click Get a Shane Code to get a Shane ID for adding device to our account. This is the interface for adding a device. Paste the machine code into the serial number. Fill in the password we set in the network configuration and set the name of the device in the account. When the configuration download is complete, we need to wait for the VBOX system to restart and detect the status of the device to the server. This process takes a while. When the connection server network speed appears, it indicates that the device is connected to the server. After that, we can add VBOX to the account. Find in our account and click the place button to open the add interface. Fill in VBOX information and click the same button to complete the operation. After added, the circle in front of the device name shows the device status. Gray means online and gray means offline. At the same time, we can see all the information of VBOX in the basic interface. 